What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, it is May 1st, which means the rule set has changed. It is now Series 9. No more restricted mods. We're going to see a bunch of new Pokemon in the meta, and older Pokemon start to reoccur and being used a lot more. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Zapdos team, alongside with the Raladon with that weakness policy and stalwart ability. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. Like I said, you guys better be subscribed to this channel. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, which just blows my mind. So if you're not subscribed, just support the channel and just click that button. Seriously, that's all it takes. But rocking out on this team, we got Zapdos. Life Orb Zapdos, this is actually not the Galarian version, it is the Cantonian with static ability, Life Orb as its item. Like I said, Thunderbolt, Hurricane, both for stab, and then we got Heat Wave for coverage with protect as our final move right next to him is a pokemon i haven't used in forever but i absolutely love this guy he's so strong and his ability is amazing because it can hit through follow me's and rage powder so he's still in dragon type got that weakness policy move set of flash cannon and draco meteor both for stab dark pulse for our coverage move and protect as our final move middle left we have tapu finny with the misty surge and expert belt so super effective moves do a little bit more damage muddy water moon blast ice beam and haze oh y'all i'm liking this move set right here i'm loving haze considering if a pokemon on the opposing team is getting out of hand with the stat boost i can just cancel them out and roll from there right next to her is going to be amoongus our support mom with the koba berry and regenerator ability clear smog spore rage powder and protect so this team has two pokemon that can just cancel out stat changes which is amazing i'm loving it so much bottom left corner we got inner focus entei with that assault fest we have sacred fire for stab extreme speed for first turn priority snarl to lower special attack and bulldoze to drop speed and proc the raladon's weakness policy so he's going to be coming in a lot every time we bring in the raladon final pokemon is going to be light clay prankster grim snarl and you guys know i love screens pokemon so he's going to rock out here he's going to be able to do work with this team we have fake out spirit break late screen and reflect as the moveset guys if you want to try out this team for yourself Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins for Series 9. First battle coming at you guys, going up against, what is that, Galarian Slowking? Ooh, yo, Series 9 is going to be tons of fun. I cannot wait to see some new Pokemon being played and all that good stuff. He also has Rillab Rillaboom, but I can't speak right now. Storm Drain, Gastron, Porygon 2, Milotic, and Incineroar. So, got to watch out for that Intimidate. That can get a little crazy. I am going to go with the Rallad on here. Try to get that weakness policy rolling alongside with Entei. Get buzzing with that. He can he roll trick room? I think he maybe he can. There's a huge possibility. Um, who else do I want to go into? Definitely want to bring Zapdos and then in the final spot. I'm thinking of bringing Tapu Finny. Thinking of rolling out with the Finsters. I do like it. I'm digging it. Let's get Tapu Finny out here. We have nine seconds to pick, so we're gonna be able to rock out with that. But guys, let me know for question of the day, and that is what Pokemon are you guys planning on using for series nine? Considering my Pokemon I want to use was the Raladon, we're showing it off here. So I'd love to know what Pokemon you guys would like to see or what Pokemon you guys are building around for your teams for Series 9. And if you guys do have rental codes, make sure to send them to me. Legit, my Instagram DMs is in the description below or my Instagram page, and the name is right below my face cam. Second thing I want to go over is I want to give a huge shout out to a longtime viewer, and that is going to be my boy James. James, thank you so much for checking out the videos and showing some support. Seriously, you rock. I cannot thank you enough. But we're rocking out here. This guy is Porygon2. And Galarian Slowking. I didn't even realize he had Porygon too. He's gonna roll a Trick Room on me, isn't he? You're gonna roll a Trick Room on me, aren't you? Do I just Dynamax and get after this thing? I do have Depletion. Doesn't that just lower the PP, right? Yeah. So I could rock out with a Max Darkness. And just hit that and just proc policy and roll from there. I think it's gonna be play. Proc policy, slow everybody down. And we're gonna get it, we're gonna get after it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. There goes my Dynamax. This is actually my first match in Series 9. So hopefully we can get off to a strong start and go 1-0 for my record. Try to get a strong record this series. I'm actually excited for this uh, series too because I feel like the Restricted Mons were getting out of hand. It was basically just the same thing. You were, you were seeing Kyogre teams or Zacian teams all over the meta. It was just crazy. So I'm glad we're getting back to the basics and uh, being able to use Pokemon that we haven't used in a little bit. But Bulldoze comes out and that does huge damage onto that Slow King. So this... uh. This Max Darkness should just be able to bop it up and take it out, which I really dig. And which is nice, if he rolls a Trick Room here, that could be really good. Critical hit on that Sloking, that's why I did so much. We get that crit, and what is he going to do? He could Eerie Impulse me, which I don't like one bit. There goes that Darkness. That should pick up the KO easily, no problem. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. And I'm kind of hoping he rolls that Trick Room, because the Pokemon that's going to come in is going to be normal speed, and my Duraldon's minus one, so maybe we can outspeed it that way. And the Raladon's not too fast. 
So let's see what he does here. There's the trick room. Alright, there's that trick room. Hopefully he throws out a special attacker as well, because I do have Snarl on my Entei. And we can get buzzing from there. But guys, if you haven't checked out my playthrough yet on new Pokemon Snap, definitely go check it out. Parts 1 and 2 are out when this video goes live. Playthrough is tons of fun, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it and show some support over there by smashing like buttons on those videos and getting them off to a strong start. I am having fun with that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that playthrough as well. But he does throw out Milotic. That is fine by me, and I could go with, in with another Max Darkness, which I think might be my best play, but I would rather get some Stab on here. I would rather get some Stab, or I can go for a Depletion. Which I might just go for a Depletion, and get after that Milotic, and just Snarl up here. Those are both special attacking. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? That's a bad move. That's a real bad move. That's a bad move. But this thing's competitive nature, isn't it? Okay, good thing we just take it out. Lovely. All right, we just take that out. I was going to say, because we're going to drop a special attack. It's going to get a boost. But we just get a special attack drop here on this Gastron. And it's going to be huge because this thing cannot move out. And I think we pretty much have this battle locked up. We pretty much have this one locked up. And Porygon goes back to normal speed? Oh, yo, I'm liking that. I think I was using a water move. Like, what did you think I was going for? What did you think I was going for? We're getting, we're getting off strong here. I'm loving the route on. Um, to go for another depletion, or I can go for a steel spike. Uh, what's gonna do more damage? Depletion is. And I think I'd rather get after Gastrodon, because I think that he's gonna die next Gastron. I'm just gonna snarl up again. They're both special attacking. Let's just snarl up and roll from there. Here goes his Dynamax. It's gotta be Gastron. Which I wouldn't be surprised to see a Porygon too, considering my last uh Sword and Shield ranked double battles, they Dynamax Porygon too, and it absolutely murked. But it is gonna be the Gastrodon this time. And we're looking pretty strong here. We are looking really strong. We do have Tapu Fini in the back, which isn't going to do too, too much. And then we also have... Who else did I bring? Oh, Zapdos. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough news. Ice Beam does come through. And Gastron might be able to take me out with Quake. Hopefully, we can eat up. He is going to get a special defense boost. Let's see. Eat this one up, Duraldon. Eat it up. Takes me out. But Snarl is going to come out here, and I'm just going to keep dropping that special attack. That's going to be my way to win this battle, is just to keep dropping special attack. So, we're going to roll out with that. I think I have to go for, like, a Moonblast over on Porygon Z. Or not Porygon Z. Porygon 2. But another Snarl rolling out here. And who's it miss? Come on, man. Why you doing me dirty like that? Why you doing me dirty like that? We can just geyser me. Um, what do I want to go into? I'm going to go into Finny. Because we can wait out this Trick Room and then eventually I can get out, uh... Zapdos to clean up this battle, but I feel like if I can just keep getting a couple snarls off here, we should be thriving. As I just keep dropping this uh, special attack. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And of course you missed that snarl. That would have been a that would have been a good one. Cannot go for the muddy water because he does have storm drain. This may lower special attack, so I'd rather go after Gastron. Try to get that special attack drop, and we're gonna hit the snarl for a guaranteed special attack drop again. He's gonna drop a T-bolt. That's totally fine. Should be easy eats for us. Yeah, light work. We get off another snarl. All right, guys are coming out here. No, he's just gonna straight up quake and get that special defense boost. All right, can you eat this one, Ante? Eat it up all day, baby. Eat it up all day. If we get this moon blast uh, special defense drop, we should be thriving here. Let's see. They are special defense boosting, so I think this one's gonna be close. Cause look, we're doing no damage. They might have both have recovery here. No special attack drop, but we are gonna get it with the snarl, which is nice. Um, I could protect the Finny. Which I don't think is going to be the play. I think we're just going to keep Moonblasting. But we're going to slide it over there. And we are just going to Snarl up again. That is my play. But they got special defense boost. We're having special attack drops. And it's just all special attackers on the field. T-Bolt's coming out here. Another easy eat for uh, Entei. And we should be able to eat up this Quake, I'm thinking. Ooh. Are we going to eat up this Geyser, though? Which I think we should. They're both stab. He's going to get rain. Ooh, we don't eat. That's rough news. But no more special defense boost for him. He does get off ring. Which could benefit me once I get rid of this Gastrodon. We're going to see in a second. We are going to see. Here goes my Moonblast. Both these Pokemon can recover HP, which is kind of annoying. Speed goes back to normal. I am going to bring out my Zapdos. And rain is good because it's 100%. Hurricane's going to be 100%. Alright. I see you. I see you. No more Dynamax. Um... I think he might trick her. I think we gotta get rid of this uh 
It's Gastro. I think Gastro has got to go, so we're just gonna double up into this. We might recover. Hopefully, we can get the ducks or something. Guaranteed hit here. Give me the ducks. Show me the ducks. Give it to me. Nope. No ducks. Moonblast coming over here. If he doesn't recover here, we'll be able to take it out. We should be fine. Berry. Of course. This thing's buried. Of course. Let's see. Is he going to pop another trick room? I can definitely see that happening. Ice Beam coming out here. Eat this one up. That should be, that should be light work for him. Yeah, he eats that up all day. Another Ice Beam thriving through here. Jeez, man. He's there doubling up into me. Oh, my lord. Chill on me. We have to double back up into this Gastronon. And go for another Hurricane. Hopefully he doesn't protect. I think he might protect and win this game. Don't do it. Don't do it. Maybe I should have read it. Maybe your boy should have read it. But this one's a good battle. This is a solid battle here. But we were thriving here. I can't believe this Gastron came in here. Clutch. Hurricane's going to be able to come out here. Can we get the KO? Oh, I don't know. Give me the ducks. Can I get ducks, man? Moonblast. Do him dirty. Give me a crit. Give me something. Throw me a bone. Take him out. Really? A free focus sash? And this thing recovers? What you mean? What you mean? Yo, get this thing out my face. Get him out of here. Any trick rooms? Any trick rooms. Okay. Ah. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That's GG's. That's GG's. We're going to Moonblast, and we are going to protect. We're going to try to figure out a way around this one. Dude, if that Gastron's dead there, that's huge for us. I'm going to protect because I know the Ice Beam's coming out against me. Legit on one HP, but what a battle so far. I'm digging it. I'm digging this battle. This team is really, really strong. I feel like he got super lucky in some instances like that right there. And I'm surprised he was able to take out my Doral down with that next quake, even though he was minus one. Protect comes out for my lovely little Zapdos. And I'm going to be able to drop off another Moonblast. There's that Protect. Get that block rolling. And I think Gastron's going to slide over here. Oh, he's doubling up. That's a huge block. That's a huge Protect here. Here's my lovely little Moonblast. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Another special attack drop. The mist disappears. Alright. The rain should be gone soon. I could haze, but I just don't feel like a haze is, is the right play. Hmm. Changes every stat. Wait, the user creates a haze, eliminates every stat change among all Pokemon engaged on the battlefield. Hmm. So annoying. This is so annoying. Uh, we're going to try to go for another Hurricane. I think we'll double up in the Gastron slot. I think he's going to recover an Ice Beam, right? There goes that Ice Beam. That's going to take me out. No problem. And hopefully he's trying to double up another Ice Beam. That's like our only shot out of this, right? Let's see. He recovers. That's GG's. That is GG's. Yo, what a first battle. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. What a first battle. Did get a little bit lucky there. We had a strong start. His Gastrodon was able to come out there and win that game. And, yo, and his Gastrodon dodged a, uh, a Snarl. I forgot about that. His Gastrodon dodged a Snarl. Both Pokemon have recovered here, so it's not even worth, like, fighting this one out. It's really not worth fighting this one out. They're going to be bulky. They're going to be able to eat up. I'm just going to run. They're just going to stall this battle. And we're going to start off 0-1 for today's video. And for Series 9. Time to get our first victory for Series 9. I thought we had it considering we rolled out with the Raladon and had strong start but then it's Gastrodon and Porygon to clutch it up for him with the recovers and the stall out game but I think I'm gonna go back in at the Raladon man. give me no reason not to um he does have that uh the Venusaur and Torkoal combo which is kind of scary it's kind of scary I'll give it to him he also has Regilecki uh Regigigas and Galarian Weezing with Urshifu so Tapu Fini I definitely want Tapu Fini up in here I do like it I do dig it um final Pokemon do I set up screens I bring Screens Grimmsnarl. I gotta bring Zapdos. I gotta bring the same squad. I gotta bring the same squad to get after us. I'm just liking it too much. My Ante also has that Assault Fest and it poses a threat to the Venusaur, so I am really liking this squad right here. No support mods. We're not bringing in Amoongus or Screams Grimmsnarl, even though they both rock out pretty strong. But we're getting a win here. We're getting a winning record for today's video. No way we're starting off Series 9 without a winning record. Like, come on. Especially with this Duraludon team, it feels very strong. It feels very simple to use, too. He goes Weezing and Regigigas. Oh, alright. Say less. Say less. If he wants to smoke, he's gonna get the smoke. 
Valadon and Entei pop out from my side. And we're going to give it to him. Neutralizing gas. So there goes the, our, our abilities. But I am going to Dynamax. Give me no option. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to steal Spike, get a defense boost. And do I get after that Weezing or Regigigas? I, I feel like Regigigas got to go. And I'm just going to Bulldoze. Proc the policy. Slow down the other Pokemon. And we're going to get after it. And we are going to get after it. I could see him Dynamaxing, but at the same time, I don't see him doing it either. But I totally forgot that Regigigas is not a restricted mod. Like, you can just use him whenever. Even though he's like a he's a pretty big legendary. Get me more hype for Diamond and Pearl remakes. Because he came out in Diamond and Pearl and I remember unlocking him. You had to have like all three Regigigas's. Or not Regigigas's. All three Reggie. Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and uh, Reggie Ice. And then you bring him to the temple. And he's just downstairs chilling. You're like, oh, look at this guy. I feel like that's why I love Diamond and Pearl so much. It's just a nostalgia factor. Like, it was, I played it at like the perfect age when I was like... 10 or 12? Somewhere around that age, so it's like just huge. And that's when they really bulked up with legendaries. So it's like, yo, let's add a bunch of legendaries and get rolling from there. So was, there was just so much replay value in that game when it first came out. It was like a big step for the Pokemon uh, main series games. The Raladon gets that Dynamax. He also Dynamaxes at Regigigas. I'm ready for it. We are going to get a defense boost. And I hope he's physical. I don't know if he's physical or special. He's going to go for that Protect. I'm fine with that. I'm shooting over on that Regigiga slot. He's gonna go for a Quake. Oh, he's proccing my policy. Hey, yo, chill on me. That's not Stab, I don't think, right? It, I think it's Stab. <laughs> That's doing some big damage. Um, We did not need a Bulldoze. We did not need a Bulldoze. Special Defense Boost coming in their favor. That's gonna be big for them. Mm, I could Protect next turn, which I probably will. I'll probably Max Guard. Then I might slow him down again. That might be a play. This bulldoze is going to come through here. We can start slowing everybody down. Let's get it. The route on down to 38. Dang. <laughs> My policy's proc. Steel spike coming out here. Gonna do this. Bang. Getting off some nice damage. And I think the play is going to be bulldoze again. Guard. So the route on can outspeed Regigigas. Take out the Regigigas and just go from there. Uh. We go for depletion here. Darkness. Uh, we have to go for stab move. I think depletion is going to be our best bet. Oh no! Why, what am I doing? What I just said. I'm going to guard. That's next turn, jeans. That's next turn. So I'm going to guard here. And I am going to bulldoze once again. Slow them down. Slow down these boys. Hopefully, wheezing doesn't outspeed my Duraldon. We'll see. But if I slow him down again, then uh. Entei should be fastest on the field again. But I could just go into like Sacred Fires. I could do a lot of different things here. There goes my guard. Putting up a big shield. Big hotel guy. Putting up a shield. We're going to block our own bulldoze. And we are going to slow down both these Pokemon once again. And we're going to get rid of this thing's berry. Get rid of this thing's Shuka berry. Get out of my face. There's a lovely little, uh, lovely little damage on that Regigigas. And there's that speed drop. Which I really, really wanted. Jukeberry, Max Quakes can come through here. Big old block for me. I should be able to outspeed this thing now. And Weezing's gonna drop a ye old sludge bomb. It's gonna be easy eats. Alright, cool. The police are coming out here. We're gonna try to take out this Regigigas. And. I oh, just Sacred Fire. Over onto the Weezing. Yeah. I'm digging it. Let's go with the Raladon. Raladon, you gotta outspeed. I know he's gonna outspeed the Regigigas. I'm not sure about the Weezing. Because Weezing's minus one, the Raladon's minus one. Regigigas is minus two. Let's see what's happening. Let's see if Gene's plays plays out. Obviously, Entei's going to be fast on the field. He might guard. He might guard. Let's see. But if I can go Dynamax for Dynamax, I'm totally fine with this turn. He's going to protect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Regigigas should be able to go down here. Should be able to outspeed it all day. Show it to me, Duraldon. Use your big old speed. There it is. Big play by Jeans with the max guard. Regigigas should 100% go down here. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. And the Raldon's going to live another day. So, bad protect by him. I thought my only problem with that turn was if the Weezing would target my Raldon that turn. And if he went for a Sludge Bomb, I feel like we were able to eat that out. He's not that heavy hitting, and Sludge Bomb's not very effective. We got this rocking out for us. Still have one turn... Or no, we have no turns in our Dynamax. 
Torkoal's gonna pop out here, and oh, yo, we outspeed that. We should outspeed both. I don't think we out. Oh, and the drought's coming out here, right? Or are you not droughted? Neutralizing gas on the field. All right, uh, I'm gonna drop a Draco meteor on this thing. I'm gonna try to take out the Torkoal before anything. And I think I'm just gonna snarl. This Torkoal might protect. Oh, Torkoal might protect. Yeah, don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Because the Torkoal protects, Weezing's gonna take out my Duraludon. Could bring out Venusaur. That is an option. Venusaur is kind of scary. He is kind of scaring me. That's why if I can drop this Draco Meteor on this Torkoal, it should be able to KO it. And he should not be able to get out off a drought later in the match. So we thinking, yeah, we got some good battles rolling out here. So now it comes out here. Who's it missing? Torkoal, obviously. Come on, throw on. Outspeed the Weezing. Outspeed the Weezing. Do it. It does. Draco Meteor dropping here. This is KO. I think it should KO. We're policy propped. KO this thing. Big KO. Big KO for jeans there. I'll drop my HP for that, or my special attack for that. Get rid of that. No drought. Obviously, Venusaur is going to be his last Pokemon. I know will o -Wisp is going to get thro thrown out here. Hey, yo, I'm fine with that. I'm not really worried about that, uh... That what's it called? That Weezing. I'd rather just get after this uh, Venusaur with some Sacred Fires. Or I could Snarl again. Just keep dropping special attack. My bird should be able to come out here and do some work. Um, I guess we'll try drop another Draco Meteor. Might as well, right? <laughs> Might as well. Actually, we'll double open the Venusaur. Because Weezing could protect. Uh, let me get back here. Draco Meteor into the Venusaur. Hopefully Venusaur doesn't protect. And we are just going to drop a Sacred Fire here. We cancel out that drought. That was big. That was big for me. The play of the game was definitely that Max Guard into the Boulder. Slow them down and to make uh, the Raladon faster than uh, Regigigas and Weezing. Big play by Jeans. Definitely came up clutch and pretty much won us the match. He has no Dynamax. We have a Finny in the back, which Finny's not going to be able to do too, too much here. But we do have that Zapdos with Life Orb. Hurricane, if we can land one, what's called set all day. Venusaur. And Weezing protects for a third time. And we do not target this thing for a third time, which is huge. Every time we protect it, we weren't targeting him. So he wasted three turns with his Weezing. And we end up just one tapping onto that Venusaur. And this could potentially be a clean sweep. Clean sweep with the Duraldon Entei combo? No, he's going to die to burn! <gasps> Free focus sash. Yo, we got to kill him here. We got to kill him here. We got to take him out here for the clean sweep. Take a fire is definitely to play. We got to KO him here for the clean sweep. Or he just cancels. There it is. One and one for our first two battles. We can hop to our third and look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that winning record. We're going up against a Glacier team right here. Alongside with Charizard, Kartana, Indeedee. Hatterene and Garchomp. All right, this is kind of what I was scared for for the new season is the horses are going to be back in domination. That's what, the only thing I was scared of. I love this series already because like I didn't like I liked restricted mods at first. I think I thought it was cool being able to use them all, but towards like the end it was just getting old, like same old Pokemon like I said in uh, Battle Number One. But I feel like the horses are going to come back to haunt us. They're going to be so strong and they're going to be dominating this meta, I believe. But I think I got to go Duraludon again. He has Hatterene and Indeedee. I gotta bring that Stalwart Duraludon in case he tries to go trick him. I can uh, neglect to follow me and just hit right through onto that Hatterene. So I'm liking that. Um, who do I go into from here? I think I might go Tapu Finny. And then do I want Zapdos? Do I want that same squad? I feel like Zapdos just gets buried by that gla Glacier. But I think I want to go Grimstone here. I get a special attack drop. I can set up screens later in the match. I'm with it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Amoongus, you're in the back end. We don't need you here. We do have that Haze just in case a policy procs for them. Or uh, Glacier is getting boosted with uh, his Chilling Nay. So, we have set up. I am liking this team. This was a good pick for uh, Series 9. I do have a few other Series 9 teams uh, lined up for you guys. I have a Life Orb Dragapult team ready to go. That might be next video. Because I always love Dragapult. And I feel like, again, ever since uh, Restricted Mons came in, he he's just been seeing less of the spotlight. But we're going to bring out... I'm, I'm Dynamaxing again. You give me no reason not to Dynamax. I will probably proc his policy. I'm not even going to lie. I probably am going to proc his policy. That's probably what gonna ha what's going to happen here. I am going to Bulldoze. Proc my own policy. And I am definitely going to Steel Spike. Get that defense boost. And hit this Glacier. 
But at the same time, we're gonna proc actually oh we oh yeah, we will proc his policy, but with a uh a steel hitting move. With my Duraldon. I thought uh Bulldoze was gonna proc his policy as well. But I think he's gonna try to go into a follow me. And I hope he does, because then we can show off the ability Solvert here. Love this ability so much. It is so good. Because he can go for a follow me, and my Duraldon is still going to hit that glacier. That's what his ability does. It just hits through it. It cannot be like distracted. It is amazing. I love it. I'm loving it. Let's see what happens here. Show me a follow me. He is going to Dynamax the Glass. The Glass is going to get the Dynamax, and I believe Entei should be faster than him. Especially after his Bull News, too. So if we do not KO with the Steel Spike, I can definitely go into Sacred Fire. Actually, probably not because he's going to follow me. But we'll see what's going on. Here. We'll just see what's popping. But I could slow it down again. Make the route on a bit faster. Actually, no, it won't. Don't do anything. There's the follow me. I love this turn. So he just wasted a turn with Ndidi. He just wasted that lovely turn. And Entei is going to drop a big old bulldoze. Proc the route on policy and slow down Glacier alongside with Ndidi and the route on. There's my policy. Am I going to be able to outspeed? I don't know. Who's faster here? Speed dropping and speed dropping. Is the route on faster? It is. Follow me. Doing nothing. We get after his glass. That's GG's. Let's go, dude. The Browdon is so good. He's so good, man. That is GG, yo. Oh my god, I love this Pokemon. I said this before Series 9 came out. I was like, I cannot wait to use the Browdon in the next series. He's gonna be a beast. Yes, sir. Takes out Glacier in one shot with that policy proc. So maybe the Roundon's new meta. Maybe, maybe. Because he counters him so hard. Out comes the guard chop. Star Wars buzzing. Star Wars buzzing. Garchomp, you want to die too? That's fine by me. Um, what do I do here? I'm going to swap into Grimmy. I'm going to try to get screens up and just protect my boy. Protect my Duraludon. Now look at that little sparkle at the top of his peak. Look at it. You see that little glare? I think that's hilarious. Is that like a little signal because he's like a hotel thing? Entei's going to swap. We'll save him for back end for later. Grimmy Poo's going to get popping here. I'm going to try to set up screens and roll from here. He's going to go for a helping hand. And I think he's going to try to get after my... uh. He's going to drop an EQ, right? Yep, there's an EQ. I should be able to eat, right? All day. All day. He basically takes out his Ndidi and his Garchomp's gone. Oh, Ndidi's rocking a berry. Was that a Figgy? Are you Figgy Berry in it? That's a Citrus Berry, isn't it? Yep, Citrus Berry. The Pleasian comes out. Garchomp. Get out of my face. <laughs> Get him out of here. Get him going. I'm not worrying about Ndidi. Um... I do have fake out on this thing. Actually, I can't fake out. Psychic Surge. Yo, big brain plays. Your boy's thinking. Your boy is thinking. Cartana's gonna get it out here. He's gonna outspeed me and he might be able to pick up the KO, but I am going to set up a reflect here. And I can't do much to this Cartana. Do I just take out Ndidi and get a defense boost? I'm gonna set up this reflect. I still have Entei in the back, so I'm really not worried about Cartana too much. Helping hand comes out here. Helping hand. Here goes my lovely re reflect. And I think he's just going to take out my Duraldon. I really do see that happening here. Let's see what happens here. Sacred Sword. Eat. Eat. Nope. Doesn't eat. Alright. It's fine. He's going to play games with me. Artana is going to get an attack boost. Which is, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of scary. Now the real question is. I think I'm going to bring out Entei first. I think I'm going to bring out Entei first. For the sheer fact, I do not want to bring out Tapu Fini. Have that thing go for a grass move and take me out from there. And then get another boost. So I'm just going to drop a Sacred Fire. I'm going to hit up on this Cartana slot. And I'm just going to go for a Spirit Break over onto Ndidi. But she might follow me here. Let's see what he does. Hmm. Cartana can clutch this one up. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Cartana's looking real deadly. He's looking real scary. And I can't roll out with extreme speeds either. We do have a reflect up here. Follow me comes out. That's fine. We're coming after you. Or, well, we weren't doing that, but still, we want to get rid of him. Smart Strike's going to come through here. It's going to take you out. And take a fire, I think, should be able to do the work, do the job here. Oh, this thing, I don't, I don't like this thing one bit. 
You're just taking fire. Take him out. All right, here's the plan. This is gonna be the plan. We're gonna haze. We are going to haze here. I wish I had protect on my Entei. I think I don't, right? What do I have? Snarl, extreme speed, sacred fire, and boulders. Okay. Let's see Surge is rolling. I have to haze in sacred fire. Let's see what happens here. Sacred fire will kill it in one shot unless it's sash. And I am going to try to run a haze here. Eliminate his attack boost. Because I'm not liking it. I'm not having it. Sacred sword comes through. He's going to try to take out my Entei. Entei eats. That's GG's. GG's, baby. Good game, yo. Cortana was scaring me a little bit. It is sashed. It is sashed, but he has no double hitting moves. Here goes my lovely little haze. Get those stat boosts out of my face. Not dealing with it. But he did make the right play by going for my Entei, knowing that uh, Tapu Fini is not a threat at all. I'm going to rock out here, and then I'm just going to drop not a Muddy Water, because I feel like Muddy Water misses every single time I use it. I'm going to drop a Moonblast. He just cancels battle. GG's. We get that winning record and go 2-1 with this Duraludon team. What a way to start off Series 9, ladies and gentlemen. We just rocked out with one of my favorite Pokemons from Gen 8, which is Duraldon. Every single battle, we just went in, procced his policy, and just went from there. It was super easy, and his team was fun to play with. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you press the positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.